Well, hello, it's Beards and Bangers. And as you can see, I am slightly shorn, uh, even though my name is actually Rob. Uh, and today I'm gonna give you a little bit of an update on why my MG ZT260 is still not running. Welcome to Beards and Bangers. So I was really hoping that the next video I brought to you on the uh, 260 would be me driving it. Um, but um, as we'll see in a moment, um, it's, uh, it's still not going. It's getting there. It's just nearly there, just waiting for something to happen. So to give you a bit of a potted history of the car. So I bought the car. So I originally, I originally saw the car on Car and Classic uh, back in February 2022. And I emailed the seller, and he said, "Actually, I've got. I'm. Uh, I've taken a deposit on it. I'm. Um, I'm going to be. You know, hopefully selling it." So I said, "Well, okay, fair play." Um, it was listed as, um, you know, not being spares and repair, but having various problems. So those problems were hunting idle, misfire, um, and uneven tire wear. The three, three sort of big, big problems. Um, lumpy running as well. So. I thought no, that's it's a decent price. I'm gonna I'm gonna inquire. Seller got back to me, I say, and said no, it's uh, I've got a deposit. Someone's hopefully could have come and get it. So I said fair enough. Uh, you know, if you don't, let me know. I'm, I'm gonna put the window down because it's lovely and hot in the uh, TF. Um, yeah. So if you don't sell it, come back to me. So two three weeks later, uh, this would have been early April um, last year. The guy did get back to me and said, look, I've been messed around, are you interested? So I didn't go and look at the car, because why would anyone do that? So I um, I said, yeah, I'll buy it. Took about two weeks to get someone to go and get it. Uh, just not not because uh, it was slow, just because the, the guy I bought it was going to do certain days. So yeah, got it, got it collected, got it straight into a garage. Um, and uh, the first garage couldn't fix it. Uh, they, I, they, they recommended where I now take my cars all the time, which is a absolute godsend blessing, because the garage I go to now are you know MG Rover, Jaguar specialists. They really know what they're talking about. Loads of experience, and uh, they they had it. They I said no rush, just you know start working it when you can, which is absolutely fine. And they gradually worked through different things. There were split hoses. There was um, there was an Accufab throttle body on it. So they took that off and put the stock stock one back on, just you know, to try and rule everything out. So gradually worked through various various things. Um, and it was just you know, it was a it was a bit bit of a kind of process of elimination. Uh, while that all was going on, discovered the radiator was crumbling. The the condenser for the air conditioning was crumbling. Uh, you know, just loads of stuff wrong with it. So they had the front end of the car off, new radiator, new condenser, while it was up in the air, polished the headlights, um, resistor for the cooling fan and the horn was gone as well. So that was all that was all sorted out. Um, so yes, there were a few things that, 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 that needed doing. Um, and then once it came off the lift, and bear in mind at the same time, um, the guys were working um, on my uh, 190, they would, they'd done some work on the BRM as well. Um, so, you know, they were doing other stuff for me at the same time. So when the car came down off the lift, um, the mass airflow sensor was changed uh, and that cured the hunting idle pretty much, that cured the rough running and cured the misfire. Um, it then started playing up again, but we put about three gallons, three, four gallons of um, fresh fuel in and revved it hard um, and it's, yeah, it actually started driving nicely. It had power, it was going really, really well. Uh, and as you'll see in a minute, I've had the wheels changed, so it had black 16 spoke straights. It's now got um, apexes and shadow chrome with some lovely new tires on. Um, so it's uh, it's it's looking completely different. We're just waiting for something to uh, come for the ABS. So that's you'll see that in a sec when we go up the road and have actually have a look at the car. Um, but it's yeah, it's near, it's nearly nearly there. I was hoping to have a video of it driving by now, but no, uh, it does need driving. It needs a good blast, you know, up the motorway just to clear it through. The car's not been driven properly for 18 months at least, so it just needs. Uh, just needs driving. We flushed the oil, flushed the engine, new oil, 
Um, once I get the car back, I'm gonna hopefully take it to Pride of Longbridge, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. And um, and yeah, then we'll drop the oil again, just to really, you know, flush the engine out. But I think it just needs a damn good drive. Um, the one thing I will do as soon as it's back is, um, is to get the, the four wheel alignment done. So um, let's head up the road and uh, we'll, uh, we'll just quickly update you on what's happening with the car. Yeah, so if we look at the, uh, the 260, it's got this sign in the window and that is because we've got no ABS module. So that's kind of, that's, there's an ABS light showing on the instrument pack. So that's an MOT fail. So they're still waiting for that to come back and hopefully that will clear it because I checked the circuits from the um, wheels to the module and that's all all right. But um, yeah, here's the engine bay. Now, one thing that has been done, show you up close, is the wheels and they are looking absolutely blooming lovely. Look at those. So Apex alloys the period correct wheels for a ZT260. Newly refurbished, new center caps, new Goodyear uh, Eagle F1 tyres, so give us plenty of grip, which we'll need. Um, so one of the jobs I will be doing as soon as um, as soon as the car is MOT'd and I can drive it away is to get the four wheel alignment done because I don't know if I showed you in a previous video the uh, the state of the tyres, but um, they they were very unevenly worn. So yeah, definitely need to do that. ASAP. Um, the other thing that needs to be done is this bit of lacquer peel here on the uh, on the wing, which will get done. I don't know how well you can see that, but we'll get that done really quickly. Um, because I want this car. Hope I'm still hoping that it's going to be ready in time for Pride of Longbridge. So we've got what two weeks, two weeks to get it sorted out. So well, yeah, we'll uh, we'll take it from there. Yes, yeah, so a new brake hose down here. Um, brakes quite rusty, needs a good drive, a bit of hard braking to get rid of that rust. Um, yeah, those tyres are lovely, they're really good. You can see the, the ZTT as well, which is still sitting here. Actually, we can see the, we see the uneven wear on these tyres. So these are the, the, uh, the 16 spoke straights that were on the, uh, the 260. These are the original wheels from the car, they've just been repainted black because uh, the previous owner sent me some photographs of when he had the car brand new and it had the proper, uh, I think it had silver sparkle, um, silver sparkle 16s. Yeah, these are, uh, yeah, these look better on this black car, I think. Still, do, still, still need a refurb. Yeah, that's the lovely, lovely loveliness. Look at this driver's seat, it's in really good nick. I love this green insert in there as well. It's absolutely lovely. Um, yeah, it's got to get this some of this wood trim off. I think I've shown you this in a previous update, so apologies if I'm repeating myself. Yeah, that needs to come off. Wood trim there. Wood trim there. Wood effect trim. You just don't know right in this car. No. The other nice thing is, is that we have got a, uh, a doubled-in head unit in here, Alpine as well. So it's a pretty, pretty decent make. Um, so I've not fiddled with it because I've barely driven the car. But yeah, I'll be doing the same in the two six in the uh, one ninety actually in due course. But other than the uh, yeah, the bits that are wrong, it is beginning to look rather nice. I really like those wheels. I think they're just such nice wheels. Really, really nice. Yeah, we can have a little look at the. Uh the 190 as well, so there's the welded up sill. I don't know if I've shown you that before or not, but it was quite a nice angle with it up on the ramp. Um, the other thing that's happened is uh, the headlining has been replaced, so we no longer have a droopy headlining. And um, hoping that any minute or any moment uh, the, um, a, the airbag module is going to be returned after being decoded or whatever it is so uh, yeah hopefully that'll be fixed as well really soon can't wait so dusty yeah dusty's now wearing uh, the plate uh, personalized plates this doesn't this isn't a new not a new personalized plate I've had this uh, this actually came with the uh, ZR 160 and I thought well no one's buying it so what better what better thing to do than put it on dusty 
better spin you around. So yeah, there, there we are. Um, yeah, hope I was seriously hoping to bring you a video of me actually driving the MG Z T260. We will save that battle for another day. Uh, I will do a video on the history of the MG TF um, uh, fairly soon as well. Um, yeah, and then we've got, what is it, a couple of weeks till Pride of Longbridge. Really excited about that. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Please continue to like, subscribe and share. It's greatly appreciated. And uh, I will see you again on the next episode of Beards and Bangers really soon. Goodbye.